All right, doing us a little bit of a after action report on my first year, year one. That's done with my Mr. President game. And uh, as I mentioned earlier in my other videos about having cardboards play for, he did a marathon. I think he did two years uh, uh, to the midterms. At the at the end of the two years, uh, there's a midterms right here. So uh, he played turn one and turn two, where I'm just now going into turn two. I just moved my counter uh, over to the mark, but uh, he's got a good action, after action report on it. Uh, he says he's been waiting a long time. This thing was in, uh, it might have been, in, it's probably been in production, I'd say maybe at least five years. It was on the uh, uh, P500 list. It seemed like forever. I think for at least two years or something like that. It was a long time. But uh, he said the same thing. It was one of his most anticipated games. I think it was one of my most anticipated, too. We were all, everybody was looking uh, forward to it. Uh, my uh, after, or my impressions after doing the first year is it meets and exceeds expectations. I'm having a great time with this game. So, now, like I said earlier, there's a, some one video where the guy couldn't even get through <laughs> one of these phases and he poo pooed it. Don't know. I mean, it's, I think it's all your regular outlook on life if you're a happy person or a mad person but uh yeah it's a good game i don't have nothing i've, I've played worse and i'm loving that guy this now i don't know if i'm gonna be doing any more videos on the uh uh playthrough i'm doing although i say that every time and i pick up the camera as soon as i start playing it's almost a habit it's almost to where i can't play a game unless i'm video it videotaping it i mean there's times though where i've uh a lot of times I've walked by here and there's been a busy house and I'm like, man, I'd like to sit down and just play it. But I'm like, no, nah, you know, I can't really video it. But I'm like, who cares if you video it? Enjoy it. But I am going to enjoy this game. Uh, I want to show you, though, we're doing really good on this uh, first turn. As a matter of fact, we almost had an automatic victory. We were doing so good. But they won't allow you to have an automatic victory on the first turn. You have to wait to the second turn. So it was my second turn. At the end, of, and I still had these conditions. I would have won an automatic victory, which is kind of weird because I think on the video that Mr. Billingsley did, that somebody asked him how you win, and he says you really don't win. Well, <laughs> it was an automatic victory, so you can win somehow. If you do really good, you could have a player automatic victory. So that was that was great. And he said what he said you could just compare your end results to previous presidents. There's no winning or losing. Well, he's wrong because there is an automatic victory in here, so I don't understand it. But anyway. Uh, this dodge the automatic victory. I want you to look over at this board here real quick. I can go through what's going on with my first year. Uh, you'll see the red dice. I had markers on it earlier, and it's really just a real quick reference for me. All it uh, represents is that these uh, places are at regional crisis level. See, it's got to look down here and see where that marker is. But I just put that on there real quick. So I got three areas there that are major crises, and that happened at the end of my uh, first year. Before it's like a cleanup. Uh, I also got two with the white ones. You can see here, the dice are under four numbers, which means we're at the fourth spot. Uh, that's red alerts. <laughs> Dude, Star Trek, we got our red alerts going on in those areas. This one here is at three, so they're, under, they're on the verge, so I got two of them on the verge. Uh, uh, during my first year, we really concentrated on this, because this is where most of my fires came from. All right. Uh, domestically, over on this domestic part, we really didn't do a damn thing. Didn't do nothing. I didn't push any legislation, didn't get anything passed, so on and so forth. So we were too busy uh, dealing with the uh, international uh, priority. So whenever it came for me to take my actions, they were mostly having to do with this theater here, not the uh, domestic theater, which is here and here. This here is more of a uh, how you're doing technology wise and, and you know, certain, uh, let me see here, military assets, strategic missiles, space warfare, it just tells you how you stand against Russia and China, and down here's your war, so you can see we have no wars, or else any, any of these uh, markers would be down here, these like your little gauges, and over here is where you actually fight your wars, and we have nothing going on there, which is really helping me out, one of the main things we did have in my game was a conflict in between, or rather on the Korean Peninsula. But I was able to mediate that and that gave me a bunch of good points too. Another thing is on my game is we're all the way maxed out on a lot of good things. That gives me a lot of good benefits. 
lot of good benefits now. Prestige is up there. Uh, I don't know how anybody else's game goes, and it's all a matter of dice. Every game is a different is a different story. When you play this game, you're gonna get a whole different story. Luckily for me, on this one, my first game, I'm having a blast and winning. I'm sure. Uh, here you go. This is good. I'm sure if I was losing, if I was down here, I, I'd probably be saying this game sucks. <laughs> I'm having a good time with it, so that might be why I'm a little bit biased. State of economy maxed out, maxed out, but we're doing good. So I'm getting ready to start here at the beginning of my new turn sequence I'll give, maybe give you a drop in uh, if I see anything interesting you know but uh, other than that uh, we're going to just enjoy ourselves some more of this Mr. President game and uh, I'll give it my solo game of uh, oh, 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 uh, ever best solo game ever I'm having a great time with this game so uh, uh, now as far as Hex Encounter goes is give Empire of the Sun a run for its money yeah, you know, this is a fun, this is a, that's, don't get me wrong, once you learn how to play Empires of the Sun, it's easy, it's just a learning curve, you have to get on it, and everything, but they're all good, but in a different way, which one would I rather play, I'd rather play Empire of the Sun, because I like playing against opponents, I don't play opponents that much, so that'd be, I think, a better time, for me, I mean, you have your solo aspect in here, but if I was just going to play by myself, I'd play this game, if I had a chance to play it against an opponent, well, you can't play it against an opponent, but, I don't play against opponents much. So I, if, if they drop two games on the table here and said Empire of the Sun with an opponent or American presidency by yourself, I'd be picking Empire of the Sun just because I like playing opponents. But this is a great game. Uh, that'll be it for my uh, long. Uh, this is I think I got this game months ago. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, uh, what's his name? At uh, Edward at Heavy Cardboard. He, he did a marathon, man. I'm telling you what, I got my boys a player. And that's another thing. I've never really sat down in a game and played it that much for six hours. I think back in the day, uh, I had a buddy that came over and played a game. It would be two or three. I think we were doing a Battle of the Bulge back in the day. It's the only time we'd come over and play a game, but that was over 20-something years ago. And I've never done that. I want to on my bucket list to go to a convention, but we is too busy in this life. Maybe next. I will get there. All right. Having a great time on Mr. President uh, videos. Like I said, we'll probably drop in. I can't help but pick up a camera. But other than that, had a great time. Uh, five thumbs up for Mr. President. Uh, excellent game. Uh, Mr. Bill and uh, what would you call it? His masterpiece? 